What's up YouTube photographer, Ronix from Ronix Photography and today I'm going to be giving out actions, I'm going to be giving you guys free actions so that you can improve on your retouching game so uh, you guys thank you for we made 700 subscribers and this is like a give away to you guys and yeah I'm going to be giving you guys uh, these actions and they are going to improve your photography, this is a guarantee, they are going to be improving your photography and yeah, we're going to be using this particular image and this image was taken by a photographer it's called james Swiner photography i'm going to put his link down in the description and it was part of his retouching challenge and as you can see i did some uh, skin retouching on it so it was initially like this and i transformed to this so you can see how it was and yeah i've done the retouching and first let me kick in and i start giving guys these actions and yeah people have been asking me about the frequency separation actions and how i enhance my portraits and yeah first of all you're going to be doing uh dealing with uh how you can import these actions after downloading them or maybe let me first show you guys how it really works so just click right here and select actions so uh, all these are the actions i have right now so what you can do uh if at all the action is in a group just click right down on this arrow right here click on it open then select the action so you click on this play icon so it will you just continue and uh, you select the radius according to the image so Right now, you just come and pull the radius to uh, what you really desire when you're going to be doing your frequency separation. Yeah, and click OK to continue and just continue. So, uh, this is what I use for my frequency separation. And usually, I just come and I select on my high frequency, then I create a black and white layer and darken it. So I'll start doing my frequency separation retouching because I have a black and white layer which is going to guide me when I'm doing my retouching. So select your layer frequency and start your frequency separation. So after doing this, you just come and after you have retouched the image using frequency separation, just come and delete the black and white. So this is part of the actions i'm going to give you guys so i'm going to delete this then i show you the other actions so the other actions are majorly uh beauty actions and yeah i made for them a group and like i've told you before just click on this arrow to open the group and click on the action you want to start using so when you click on it, so this is the global and uh, the global dodge and ban action. And now, when 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 you're going to to start applying your global dodging and banning, just click on it and 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 play the action. So it will play. And as usual, you know, uh, it creates a black and white layer inside. So you just click. On whatever you want to dodge and whatever you want to ban and the reason that's why we create this uh, black and white layer is because we want something to clearly show us where the highlights and the shadows are and remember for the global dodging and banning you enhance the highlights and enhance the shadows of the image so if you at all this is too bright for your liking just double click and pull the reds all the way down so this is fine so click on the dodge mask and make sure white is on the foreground so click on the brush and make sure the opacity of your brush is uh, is around 13 percent so uh, you start painting so when you're dodging you dodge the highlights and when you're burning you burn the shadow so just come and start painting yeah paint over the areas you would like to enhance uh you increase on the brush and enhance 
so we have some kind of highlight right here to enhance that and we come on the forehead and do some little enhancing so we come to the band so i'm just showing you guys how this really works and yeah guys subscribe if you're watching this video up to this moment and support this channel so you burn there so we burn the shadows and dodge the highlights so turn off your black and white to see your progress so before after you can see uh it has really added dimension to the image remember the image was initially a flat one but after dodging and burning as you can see right on this area we enhanced these features on the face so that is done uh that was the global dodging and burning action so i'm going to show you guys the other action in this very group uh it is called the lip enhancement so you can enhance uh the lipstick or the lip gloss on the images so click on your lip enhancement and play the action so make sure your brush is selected and uh, your opacity this time make sure it is right to a hundred percent and i'm going to zoom in so that i can show you guys the effect so after zooming in close this uh after zooming in so this is the lip area and yeah be careful while painting over this the lip area so yeah paint over enhance them and make this the lips pop so let's paint over carefully so this is the before after before after you can see the difference and if at all you feel it, it is really less just increase on the opacity so this is too much but i'll show you guys the effect it brings so before after before after so this is the lip enhancement actions so i'm going to delete it then i'm going to go to our next action click right on the action so this is the eyeshadow popper click on it and click on this play icon so just come make sure the uh, opacity of the brush is at 100 percent and make sure white is on top this color right here and if it is not just click on this icon right here and paint over the eyeshadow yeah just come and paint over the eyeshadow to give it that popping look so this is the before after let me increase on the opacity so that you guys can see the effect so before after before after you can see uh, the difference it makes to the image so this is the eye shadow popper so right now i'm going to uh, show you the eyebrow darkening so play and make sure the settings they are the same white on top select your brush opacity is at 100 percent and paint over the eyebrow so be careful while doing this so this is the before after before after and if at all you have made a mistake just come and this time click on this and uh delete yeah you'll be removing so if at all you make a mistake that's how you can do so we are going to go back to the default so this was the eye uh the eyebrow darkening action so this is the eyelashes darkening action guys don't forget to subscribe please and now same settings opacity at 100 and white is on the foreground and now we are going to paint over this area to darken it you can see it is really dark so you can see before after before after uh, but you have to be careful and you have to paint over each individual uh, lash on the eye so before after and if you, this is too much for you just come and reduce on the opacity so before after before after so this is the 
flashes darkening action so uh, lastly the, this is the eye and teeth whitening action click on it then click on the play icon make sure white is on the foreground your brush is selected opacity is at 100 still and the flow is at 100 then zoom in to the area you want to paint over and apply this effect so yeah just paint over to whiten this eye you can see what it is doing so this is the before after before after and if at all you feel this is too much just come and reduce on the opacity so before after before after so this is the eye and teeth whitening and if you are doing it on the teeth make sure you brush each single tooth separately to get the best results out of this eye and teeth whitening action by Ronix photography and yeah this is all for the actions i'm giving you guys for free so uh the around there are around seven actions and i'm going to put the link down in the description so that you guys can download and apply them onto your photos so i'm ronix from Ronix photography and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and drop a comment if at all you love the results from these actions yeah keep creating till next time